this is sort of the back side from what I would normally see it as I'm walking around my place. Um, back there's my indoor grill room. <laughs> but uh, this is what I did today. So I put this uh, IBC down in the ground and it's actually cemented in so that the uh, inward pressure uh, of the dirt won't cave it in. This one here I'd like to turn into a um, floating raft system. The one in the corner uh, will be my uh, ebb and flow grill bread and this will be my uh, fish tank. So I figure, let's say, well it's 275 uh, IBC, so you know, let's say 250, because I would, I don't, I really wouldn't fill it all the way up. You got to watch for those jumping fish. So let's say 250 there and 250 down here. That's 500 gallons, plus another, I don't know, 100, 150. Well, I have quite a bit of uh, thermal mass built up in this, with all the uh, gravel in this corner one, and so hopefully it'll kind of maintain its temperature and not fluctuate too much and with that much water I, I should be all right. Here, let's take a look over here. This is my, uh, my indoor grow room. So what I've got here is um, this is a cooler these are cooler pads and um, they're really cool. Let's see if I can show you this. Oh shoot, it's too dark. Well, the pads are like four inches thick and they're one foot wide and four inches deep. And um, I went down to the sheet metal shop, I had these uh, kind of like I-beams made to hold each piece in place and I just installed these today and discovered that <laughs> when I said I needed uh, seven of these uh, I-beams, he thought I meant seven including the end pieces, which are not, and so he shorted me two, so we'll go back and get those made tomorrow. But, uh, okay, well here's the grow bed inside, a whole bunch of uh, tomato, I've been eating the lettuce and uh, and um, spinach, so there's not a whole lot left. Got to replant it. Let's go on inside. So this is the uh, this is the fish tank over here. It's 800 gallons. I've got this board stuck up here because uh, the fish like to jump, and I don't want them to jump out. I've got an aquarium set up here. It's a 40 gallon aquarium and uh, it's got a wet dry um, sump down here. And uh, in a few days I'm going to go get some channel cat and put them in here. It's all, it's all cycled. There it is. That's my grow bed. So, yeah, it's all going good. Here's my little lab. There's my sump tank, 200 gallons water down here. Let me see if I can show you my fish. There they are. Oh, they get so excited. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I got the duckweed going. Got two different kinds. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, can't see it out there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my new IBC uh, outdoor system. And uh, so this is what it pretty much looks like from, from my backyard, my house. And back here, I got, yeah, let's why not tell you about my greenhouse. I built this several years ago. And um, I thought it was so great at first, but oh man, it just gets so hot in there and it gets so cold in there and there's just no controlling the temperature. And therefore, I built the indoor grow room with 
lots of insulation. So it's kind of a storage shed now. <laughs> but anyway, here's my new uh, aquaponics system that I'll be uh, setting up uh, in about a week or two. I mean, I ought to have it running in a week or two because I've got plenty of um, I've got plenty of gravel that's already uh, got bacteria in it, and I'll just I'll be able to throw that in there, and uh, so it shouldn't take too long to cycle this thing up. Okay, I'll talk to you later.